Hi, I'm Kelly and Cass. This is Stone the Crane. Welcome. Today I'm going to talk a bit about gender neutral toilets. So I had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day and we were outside the toilets and the gender neutral toilets or the unisex toilets they call them here in Australia were already put into place. They were already, they've been there for a while. They literally took, especially down um, where I live, there's, there's, I'm close to the ocean. Um, so there's a lot of picnic areas around here. And they put in a lot of these unisex toilets. Um, so I was talking to my friend about it and she says, well, I know, I know I drive people crazy with my views on this because I am absolutely relentless in my everyday um, to point out shit about this. Um, look, at the end of the day, that I care about women, I care about children and I care about not overexposing people to sexual fetishes or you know people should be able to live their own life in and out of their own life and not deal with other people's filth and bullshit like you know so I would guess would be at least probably 10 years um, these toilets started systematically getting changed from from men and women's to unisex and um, you know I'm armed <laughs> I am armed with my stickers yeah I'm one of those sticker ladies live in Queensland I'm stickering put these little Babies everywhere I can put them. <laughs> so, being that sticker lady, the unisex toilets annoy the absolute poopy out of me. So, I want to go around when I see the man and the woman symbol, I want to put arrows with men that way and women this way, and then run around the other side with my sharpie. And, and like the same thing the other way, men this way, women that way. And my friend says, you know, this is not a new thing. You know, this is not a new thing. This, is, this has been this way for, for a long time. And it's like, yeah, they've been systematically pushing this fucking agenda for a long time. Just because they didn't see the patterns coming doesn't mean that there wasn't prior preparation in order for where we are right now. So um, I was just thinking, um, as I do, I like to think, I'm not a big TV watcher, never have been, um, never have been. I will talk my pig stories, I do have pig stories, I'm, I, I go a little never ending story, I was there when Percy Parker put the billboard up. I was there. Yeah, so, look, I've been aware of this situation for a while and not spoke up about it. I have friends in the LGBT community and I adore these people. I don't want to upset them, even though I have. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Bound to happen. How was I going to keep my fucking mouth shut forever? Honestly, it was going to happen. So there are certain events now that I'm not going to be invited to because I have been slapped with the label turf. Whatever. Um, if they have to do what they have to do to protect their precious community against such a horrible person that I am, then so be it. Whatever. So I was reflecting on the whole um, gender neutral toilet shit or unisex toilets, that's what they've got here. And I just remember two 
um, programs, two TV programs, or one was a movie, one was a TV program. And um, the first one was, I never watched a lot of, I didn't watch it at all really, it was sort of more um, passing through one channel to another back in the day. Um, was the show Alec McBeal and Alec McBean, Alec McBeal, Alec McBean, excuse me, I've got to go to my book, I have notes, <laughs> I have notes, okay, to the book, to the book, <laughs> so, Alec McBeal, Alec McBeal ran from 1997 to 2002, Five years. The head actress in that was Callista Flockard. She was a lawyer. They had a unisex bathroom, which focuses in their show, um, like people were talking in the bathroom, other people were over listening in the bathroom. Single sex bathroom stalls, and like to sing and dance in these stalls. So they had like surreal moments that would feature dreamlike in these stalls um, the other one that came to mind which I have watched on numerous times because I, I don't mind my horror slash sci-fi slash dystopian movies the other one was Starship Troopers and in Starship Troopers it was like a military base sci-fi movie um, where they were going out to kill these giant cockroaches and things that were in it. Um, it actually had Doogie Howser in it as one of the medics and the plot of the story basically was that you weren't classed as a citizen unless you did some military time, so some service time. So women could not have any children unless they had done some military time, been classed as a citizen. So there's this one particular character in the movie that her whole purpose that she is there in this war is because she wants to have a family in the future. Now they have the unisex toilets and bathrooms in this movie and it's really quite disturbing in the regards that um, in showers, it was open showers and open bathrooms and that sort of thing. Um, there is a story going on that when they filmed this particular part of the movie, that they actually asked the producer to be naked during that scene as well. So he was behind the camera, marching orders and whatever else, um, naked as well. Now, what sort of blew my mind away, because this is a it was a story, it was a 1959 novel turned into a movie. When I looked into this, because I thought, oh, gee, wonder what year that was. Um, curious about, you know, the conversation I'd had with my friend, it sort of triggered, there are conspiracy theorists and there's conspiracy theorists, and I don't mind a fashionable tinfoil hat on occasion. Okay, so being that I do have my fashionable full tinfoil hat, I pull out on occasion, that um, I thought I'd look it up. I thought I'd look up Starship Troopers in regards to what year it came out. And oh my god, mind blowing. You're never going to believe this shit. It came out in 1997. The exact same year that Ally McBean came out. Now, I'm not saying that these artists, these actors, these have anything in common. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying, ooh, there's a plot, there's a plot, they release. But look, um, call it synchronicity, call it synchro mysticism, call it whatever the fuck you want. But I think it's utterly fucking bizarre that Alan McBeal ran from 2097 to 2002 and Starship Troopers came out in 2000 and, uh, sorry in 1997 and had the exact same unisex bathroom 
thing. The exact same thing. So, um, I want to do a little bit more on this. Um, connections with different things. Call it propaganda. If you want to call it propaganda, what I was saying is we've already been conditioned. Like, so 1997 was like a couple of years before I became a mum. It was also literally five years after I finished high school. So this stuff has been in our consciousness through Hollywood for a very, very long time. So for now, I'm going to end it. This is Stone the Crone out. And talk to you later.